Ah, oh, that's some good coffee. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Christopher as always. And today we're going to be looking at everything that's growing here. Um, afterwards I'm going to bring you along and we're going to walk the whole, the whole area around. There's uh, stuff growing everywhere around here. So I want to bring you along and show you um, in detail what I have uh, growing here. Uh, it's been a rough week. <laughs> I would say it's been a rough week um, for my plants. Uh, I've been doing great, but uh, for my plants it's been a rough week. My tomatoes are getting sunburned from my new LED lamps. I used to have them under uh, CFL, but uh, the, the bulb, CFL bulbs. But uh, once I moved them uh, straight into the, the, the really strong LEDs, then they just wilted and died off so hopefully hopefully some of them will survive and uh, if not I'm gonna grow new ones so um, I'm, uh, I'm mainly growing this garden for inside so uh, it's not a problem if it's uh, going bad now I'm, I'm just gonna restart I have many years to come to go okay I got lemons yes and I got some other citrusy kind of things. Uh, I don't know what they're called. Uh, they're in the orange family. So uh, I was at the nursery yesterday and I, I couldn't um, I couldn't leave without these. <laughs> I saw uh, they had uh, just gotten in uh, new plants and I always always wanted to have um, especially a lemon. So now I'm growing a, a lemon tree. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna live inside but uh, I'm gonna give it a shot and uh, we will see together if it works. Um, that would probably be the first lemon tree growing inside with freezing snowstorm outside. It's actually snowing really much today. Okay, and uh, I just wanted to show you this. Um, this is lemongrass. Um, yeah, we can take a look at them later. I can bring you in a little bit closer. Um, I just bought these at the store and I was thinking uh, it might be possible to, to root them. Uh, I don't know if they're too old or if it's even possible, but uh, I'm still going to try to put them in water and uh, see if I can uh, get them to, to root. Um, and if so, we're going to have lemongrass. I just wanted to try it. Uh, I grew lemongrass last summer from, um, from seeds. And it worked out well, but uh, I wanted to try uh, bringing in some from the store and see if that works. Yeah, and uh, this is bay leaf. Uh, it, it's such a small plant, but it looked so nice. I couldn't walk away from it. Uh, I also got that yesterday. And um, hopefully it's going to grow, uh, continue to grow because it looks really healthy. And uh, yeah, it's a nice stem. So uh, yeah. Why don't you say we uh, walk around, take a look, and uh, I'll bring you with me, okay? And the tour starts here. This is my ginger. It's uh, growing in this large container. I always wanted to try to grow ginger. And um, it's probably too cold outside in the summertime here, so I thought, uh, why not try to grow it inside? And we will see. It sprouted. I planted in both sides of the beds uh, in the bed, but um, only on one side it sprouted now. So um, we will see if the the other side comes along. This is uh, <laughs> growing really nice. It's uh, growing very fast. This is just a few days old, and uh, yeah, we will see how this uh, comes along. Okay, I'm gonna move you all the way in to the other end. This is where it all starts. This is my, uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what to call this. It's, uh, um, yeah, it's, it's a typical garden. <laughs> it's um, a raised bed. I have, um, have a few of those uh, going in here. On uh, one side I have, uh, yeah, all kinds of salads. It's, uh, yeah, they're really tasty. I don't know the name of them because uh, uh, it's just something that I picked up over the years and uh, I've just grown it so uh, yeah I don't know what to tell you it's good <laughs> uh, here I have sage it's uh, not growing under the best light conditions so you can see the the sage is uh, really soggy but uh, 
they're putting out a few uh, nice stems and uh, they taste as they should. Here I have some flat leaf parsley. This one is uh, really looking good. It's, it's not that full, but uh, that's just because I go and eat it all the time. <laughs> and actually, actually the dog came in here one day and started eating it from the side. So <laughs> it's, um, that's a testament for uh, it being really good. Here I have uh, basil. This is uh, just one of my many, many basil plants. Okay, moving along, we're going into um, the, the pepper section. Well, it's pepper and uh, all other kind of things. This is a Jimmy Nardello. This one was cut back two times because of uh, the pepper leaf edema. I had that on almost every plant, so you will see that in uh, this video that uh, it's not a huge success this far, but uh, it's putting out new leaves now and they look really healthy. And uh, I have uh, some Jimmy Nardellos and I have... Uh, What's it called? A Jati Jolokia. Yeah, they just sprouted. Here I have uh, the top of my Carolina Reaper. I thought I'd just try to put it in water and see if it grows roots. I've seen that uh, been done, but uh, that's normally something for lord larger stems. But I, I was thinking, yeah. I might just try it. If it works, it's fun. And uh, if it doesn't work, then I know it has to be longer. Okay, uh, moving along. This is my cantaloupe. I'm really proud of this plant. It's uh, been growing very good since day one. And um, it's not had the best light conditions um, the recent days. But uh, so you can see the, the top growth here is uh, a little bit thinner, but <laughs> Yeah, it went straight up to the to the top of the uh, to the to the roof, and uh, it's uh, putting out flowers everywhere. It's putting out flowers everywhere, and um, we have a few um, a few cucumbers forming. I probably should take off most of them because uh, it's not going to support a whole lot, especially under these uh, light conditions, but. I'm gonna try to see if uh, some of them grows. If not, uh, I really don't bother. This is mainly something that should be grown outside in the summertime, but it's, it's just a nice plant and uh, I wanted to keep it. Okay, this, I don't know exactly what it is, but uh, it's some sort of uh, Thai, Thai chili. Uh, it, has, it was something I bought from eBay and uh, you're never sure what you get when you buy something from eBay. So we will just see once it's uh, mature what kind of peppers it puts out. Over, Moving along over to the um, zucchini, the squash that I have growing. This one is actually doing very well. It's putting out uh, both male and female flowers. And as you can see, uh, I've actually gotten... Now I have three, uh, yeah. One of them is pollinated, hopefully, and uh, two of them are uh, just starting to grow and uh, hopefully they will uh, flower someday. And the last one, you can see it right there. Oh, there. <laughs> hopefully I did pollinate it. Uh, I don't know if this will grow to, to full size. I doubt it though, but um, we will just see how large they can get. And uh, once I figured eh, it's not gonna do any bit more, I'm just going to try to taste it. <laughs> Hopefully it will taste just as a zucchini should. I could of course use the flowers, but I haven't been doing that so far. But uh, the next time I'm going to grow it, I'm going to definitely grow it for the flowers and uh, try to eat those. Moving along to the Carolina Reaper I just topped. These were, this was uh, two days ago, I think. And as you can see, it's starting to put out new shoots all over the stem. And this one is, uh, yeah, I'm really satisfied with this one. This is actually, I would say this is the pepper I'm, uh, I'm most satisfied with uh, at this moment. It doesn't look that way yet, but uh, man, this is going to grow into a, a fully bush uh, plant. And uh, it's already starting to, starting to, to wooden up the, the stem. So, yeah, I think this is going to be nice. Back here we have, um, uh, what's it called, a, a California Miracle. It's an um, orange bell pepper. 
it's uh, it's been doing okay now i had uh, also with this one i had some problems but uh, this one actually uh, seems to pull through and um, it's putting out uh, flowers and uh, they really look um, yeah they look good the stem of this is uh, really good also in the front here we have uh, what's it called this is a pepperoncini italian pepperoncini this was also cut way back because it uh, had the problem with leaf curling but uh, now it's coming back up it's uh, looking really nice and it's growing very fast now so uh, hopefully this will be uh, a nice addition to the grow room in the back there we have uh, which one was this i think it's um, is it another pepperoncini oh i have to check i'm never quite sure what i grow and I always forget. Yep, it's a pepperoncini. This one is actually my biggest plant in here. Uh, the biggest pepper I have uh, growing right now. It's, uh, it was cut way back also. But as you can see, it, it forked right at the bottom. And um, it's starting to wooden up. And it's, uh, it's, it's really sturdy. I think uh, I would say it's really sturdy. And it's putting out flowers everywhere. And as you can see, I've been pollinating. I just tickle, 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 tickle. <laughs> and uh, hopefully that will be, uh, be enough. Oh, there's one in the back. And uh, we will see if this puts out fruit. I, um, I have high hopes for this plant. This is probably going to go outside this summer, I think. And uh, hopefully produce some uh, nice uh, fresh fruits. Moving into the tomato um, section, or as I would call it, Death Valley. <laughs> this is uh, where it's been going really bad lately. But uh, some of these are doing uh, okay. And uh, this is one of them. This is actually, um, I don't know what it's called, because uh, when I repotted a few of these, I forgot to put the label on, of course. But uh, I think this one is uh, one of the plants that I grew last year in the garden and it was a really tasty tomato. So hopefully this is this and uh, that is this, this is that, this, this, this. And um, I'm going to see if uh, I can produce the same tomatoes as I did uh, last year because that was a really good one. These three tomatoes on the row here um, are um, called mixed tomatoes from eBay, of course. They, uh, I have no idea what I'm growing here, but uh, the, the middle one is um, looking the best, but uh, the further back there is the largest one. This is actually growing like crazy, but uh, I hate those tomatoes that are uh, really long and uh, thin and uh, yeah. So I'm probably gonna cut down this one. Um, I will just see how it, uh, progresses but uh, I think I'm gonna cut it uh, halfway down because uh, it's probably gonna go outside in uh, a couple of months and uh, I don't want it to be this big when I plant it outside. In the back there I have uh, my two um, my two uh, babies. This is um, boxcar willies. I got the seeds from, um, from uh, a good source in the States. But uh, of course, when I put them under these LED grow lights, they just started to wilt like crazy. And they got so burned, as you can see in uh, <laughs> the one that is just dying off there. It's, uh, yeah, they just shrivel up and uh, die. So, yeah. Hopefully I can save, uh, save them. These were really, really high and I had to cut them all the way down. As you can see, it looks like I'm planting two of those, but this is actually the same plant. Um, I buried it so deep, so uh, this is actually, uh, it was a really large plant, but as I said, I had to cut it all the way back. And uh, the same goes with this one. So we will just have to wait and see. I'm, um, I'm gonna plant um, new ones tomorrow, and uh, I'm gonna have a bunch of tomatoes. So some will uh, survive at least, I'm hoping. Okay, uh, back here we have the, um, this is the, um, the oh, 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 what's it called, the mango. Uh, yeah, this is my mango tree. 
it's not that big yet, but uh, it's looking nice. It has a, a really, really healthy greenish color. So, um, yeah, we will just wait and see how this grows. Uh, I guess it grows in stages, so uh, yeah, it's probably probably going to be a slow grower, but uh, I have the time. Okay, moving into the last of the tomatoes on this side of the room. These are my uh, my uh, tiny tims, and uh, these are actually the ones that are doing the best right now. They are putting out flowers and fruits everywhere, tomatoes. Uh, I've been uh, tickling the flowers and uh, it looks like um, I've pollinated almost everyone. A few of those, uh, a few have fallen off, but uh, uh, very, very much uh, tomatoes are staying. So, um, yeah, we will just see. This, uh, this is actually uh, one of the plants that I have uh, high hopes for. I had to stake this one because it was too heavy with uh, this branch leaning far, far out with all the tomatoes. So I just had to, to stake it up and uh, yeah. Okay, um, moving along to the cucumbers. Yes, I have cucumbers growing. We actually picked a large, large cucumber um, here the other day. And um, <laughs> it was so nice to be in the middle of February and uh, just go out and prick, pick a um, a fresh cucumber of the vine and <laughs> it was uh, such a nice feeling and uh, it tasted really really good. That was from um, the one that I have on, on the right side here. Uh, the one on the right side is called uh, a Femmes Pot. I got it from uh, England and uh, this one also I got from England. It's called uh, Early Spring I think. Uh, uh, yeah, I think it's an Early Spring. This put out uh, both female and male flowers so this one has to be pollinated. The, the Femmes Pot, uh, as in the name, it's only putting out female flowers, so I only need to worry about uh, giving it water and uh, the plant will do the rest. I could uh, bring you up so you can see, oh, there you can see a cucumber on the left side. This is from the um, early spring. It's actually slower than the Femmes Pot, but uh, <laughs> it's uh, starting to put out nice fruits now, so um, yeah. And I can just bring you up all the way over the cheap LED I got from eBay. And all the way into the top and into the roof. And it's growing along the roof. It's <laughs> I, I don't know how, uh, how many feet this is, but it's, uh, it's starting to, to get uh, annoyingly big. I'm just going to move a little bit back and show you. And as you can see, it grows from... Uh, from uh, bottom to all the way up to the top. I have it in this really large container and uh, it was yeah, it's stupid much soil to mix. So uh, it's probably a waste because I had to water everything but it looks nice and um, yeah I'm just gonna keep it for cucumbers. The cucumber seems to like it. These are my last two raised beds. Here I have um, basil growing. This is only cuttings from uh, the other basil plants that I have. I just, uh, when they started to, to, um, to grow too high, I just cut them off from the top and I put it in water and they root within a, a few days. And then I just uh, replant them. And as you can see, they've been doing really great. These were just tiny, tiny, tiny ones. These were uh, about the size of uh, this one. This is uh, some, uh, I planted this yesterday. And as you can see, they are growing really, really tall. And as you can see, they're putting out side shoots. So what I'm going to do is just top them off again and um, uh, put them in um, water and see if I can uh, get them to grow back. And as you can see, they will just continue growing from these um, side shoots. Here I have um, Rocket. This is not looking good anymore, but it, it used to look good, but it tastes just as good as it did. This was actually, I, I planted this, um, I think it was the first week of uh, December. And we've been having uh, crazy amounts of uh, salads from this. So um, uh, I'm definitely going to grow more of this, but uh, I'm not going to grow any more inside because now it's starting to, to um, 
move to uh, towards the outgrowing uh, the the outdoor grow season so it's probably going to be more of a outdoor uh, thing this summer um, <laughs> these were actually grown from seeds that i uh, uh, got uh, last summer from the the crop that i had outside these are some uh, <laughs> Ill, Ill to do um, gar, uh, no, gar, uh, spring onions. Uh, they don't look that good. Um, uh, they, yeah, they have never seemed to, to get full. Uh, I, I, I guess these need a lot of light, but uh, I gave them a decent light in the start, but uh, lately they've been getting next to nothing. I'm just gonna pick them and put them in a salad and just get rid of it. And I'm gonna have this whole bed uh, lined with uh, basil because we use a lot of basil. And um, oh, the smell of it! Oh, it's just so good. You can just uh, sit beside the um, the, um, uh, the raised bed here and, and just smell the, the leaves and, uh, of course, pick them and eat them. The next bed is my garlic. This was the, the garlic that I um, had a little history about the, on the first episode I made. Um, it's, uh, it's doing very well uh, and it's a crazy root system. I, I um, did plant uh, a few ones that I had in uh, solo cups still. I, I potted them here, uh, I put them in the, the bed yesterday. And uh, when I started digging into the soil it was a mess of roots down there. So. Uh, I think they've um, uh, gotten a good start and um, I'm, these ones are going to go outside this summer so I'm just uh, trying to keep them alive here until uh, spring and then I'm going to plant them outside and see. But I, I had the strangest problem last year. I, um, I planted a tons of garlic but it all disappeared and I couldn't understand what was going on. And <laughs> it um, was actually some squirrels that were eating the garlic. I didn't know that that was possible, but I uh, I caught them in the act, and uh, yeah. So uh, hopefully this time it's um, it's going to be larger plants, so uh, they will probably not going to be eating those, but uh, we will just have to see. I might put some uh, small fencing around it. <laughs> Down here, this is uh, my uh, time. No. It's called mint, yeah, it's called mint, of course. Uh, and it smells so good, this also. Uh, I just love those herbs. They, um, they really put out a nice smell in, uh, in the garden. This is my bay leaf. This was the one that I got yesterday. It's not looking big, but uh, it's not that huge, but uh, it's, it looks great. And hopefully it will uh, bring me a lot of bay leaves for cooking uh, later on. So uh, we will just uh, continue to see how uh, this grows. I'm, um, I'm willing to put this in a really big pot if it uh, will uh, grow, uh, grow big for me. So now we're in the midsection of the room. This is some more uh, rocket. It's not looking that fantastic, but it's uh, been good. And here are my uh, new plants, the new additions. This is the, um, the lemon that I was talking about that I bought yesterday. And as you can see, it put out four lemons that I just picked. And uh, the three other uh, oranges uh, was from the next tree. This is uh, something that I've always wanted to grow inside uh, to just see if it's possible. And it's... Uh, putting out flowers so uh, <laughs> I don't know if I should pick those off to uh, to make the plant grow but uh, it's putting out new shoots and uh, yeah it's it looks like it's uh, coming along this is uh, the orange tree this one is so bushy and nice I just love the, um, <laughs> the, the fruits they taste like crap they're really sour and uh, not a lot of flavor at all but uh, I just love the way this plant looked. It's uh, yeah, it's so nice. So uh, we will just continue following these. And of course, I just got my aloe, the small aloe. This uh, I've seen grows really large. So I'm gonna um, hopefully grow a, a really big one inside uh, because I I just love uh, taking off parts of it and 
and the smell of it, it's just, uh, yeah, it's really good. And every time I get sunburn in the summer, then I can just go up here and uh, rub some aloe on it. Now we're getting into the last bench that I have. Here I have all the failures, <laughs> which I um, really don't, well, it's not only failures, but some of these are failures. As you can see, this uh, California Miracle, it's, uh, it's really, really light green. I don't know, yeah, I don't know, we'll just have to see. And um, here we have something, something. I'm just gonna turn it, I never know what I'm growing. This is a jalapeno. It's, uh, yeah, as you can see. This uh, tells the story, I think. <laughs> It's not looking good. I, I think I'm going to throw it out. But I'm starting new seeds now these days, so um, once the new seeds sprout, then I'm going to just replace it. Back here is a tomato. I never intended for this to go anywhere. It's just I had, I had one plant too many uh, for my pots, and uh, I just figured I'd just try to see how, <laughs> how big I could grow it in this pot. And um, yeah, it's quite big. So this was actually one of the mixed tomatoes also. Back here we have a Jimmy Nardello, which is also doing not so good. It's, it's a shame because they're, they have really good stems. Uh, almost all of these have, uh, have been putting out a, a really nice stem, as you can see with, see with this one. This is um, a Jati Jalokia also. And uh, yeah, it's looking um, okay. But uh, hopefully the new growth will be uh, fine and uh, we will see if it survives. This is a cayenne. Uh, this one was actually one that I got seeds from, um, from a store-bought uh, cayenne pepper. Uh, it sprouted very good and very fast. And uh, I'm going to trim it once more and we will just see if this one also survives. As you can see, this one also has the leaf curls. I, I don't know what's going on here. Another California Miracle. This one is doing okay. Uh, oh, it's so bright lights. Okay, just hold on. I'll, I'll just uh, disconnect the lights. It might be too dark, but we're going to try it anyway. This is a jalapeno also. Not looking great. But uh, we will see if it survives. I have some uh, new peppers sprouting here. These are mainly Lombardos, Jimmy Nardellos and uh, Jetty Jalokias and uh, yeah. Pepperoncini, everything. Um, these ones were uh, cut off one time, but um, yeah, the leaf curl issue. This one is uh, one that I'm excited about. This is a passion fruit. I don't know if it will grow inside here, but uh, or how it grows, or what kind of soil it needs. I'm yeah, I'm just winging it. So um, I'm I'm gonna be checking this uh, online to see. Uh, how to, to grow this, but uh, yeah, we will see. This is uh, actually doing very well. This is the peanut. Um, I've been growing this now for, yeah, since I planted it 7th of February. So it's, it's not a month old, but uh, it's getting there. And uh, in, uh, in the daytime, it opens up and it's so beautiful. So I, I planted a few more seeds on the last episode. And they, they actually sprouted today, so um, we will see if I can grow some more. I'm going to try to grow this outside this summer. And here we have a cucumber growing. And this is, I believe it's called a pothos. Um, yeah, don't, uh, don't hold me on that, but uh, I think it's called a pothos. Uh, at least know what it's called in Norwegian, and that's gullranke. So... Um, this one is actually a, a kind of a cute story. This, this used to be, um, this is actually a cutting from my grandmother's pothos. She used to have that in her house. Uh, she lived on the same, um, the same uh, place that I live, on, on the same um, property uh, in a separate house. And um, I was in, in there with her all the time and uh, we had such a good time. And she, she passed away... Um, uh, about 15 years ago and um, her sister actually uh, got some of her old plants 
And this is actually a cutting from that plant. So this is kind of like my grandmother's plant. So um, I'm uh, hopefully going to grow it really big. I'm going to put uh, a lot of effort into to getting this nice and it's going to get all the soil and nutrients it's going to need. So uh, this is probably going to be something that's going to be growing in here for forever and ever. So uh, yeah. And over to my basil farm. <laughs> Some of these are uh, starting to die off. They're not looking good at all, but uh, we've been picking down a few of these uh, a couple of times. And um, yeah, we're starting to, to um, yeah, we're, we're using a lot of basil and um, we have all sorts of varieties here. Um, my fiance doesn't like <laughs> some of these I grow like, um, like this ones, for instance, this is the, the Thai basil. And uh, wow, I just love the way uh, this tastes. Oh, I'm, I'm just gonna have a. Oh, I'm gonna need to taste it. Mm. It's, it's like the the licorice, um, like licorice taste, and it's really good. I really enjoy. It. I never cooked with it. Um, I haven't done that yet. So um, if it's uh, if it's good in cooking, I'm I'm definitely gonna grow more. But I'm. I'm gonna stop growing it in these uh, small containers and I'm gonna stick to the large containers because it seems to be working so much better for me. Um, this uh, sweet basil, this is uh, actually one that's been uh, growing very nice. I planted a tons of seeds but only one sprouted and it sprouted, man it sprouted. So um, I've been cutting this a few times and I've. Uh, this is actually most of um, of the cuttings I had in the, the old the other bed was from this plant only. So I'm gonna continue cut it down, cut it down, cut it down and um, yeah we will see how far I can take this. In the back here I have a tomato. This is uh, one tomato from the outside garden last year. This is doing okay I, I would say. So um, I think I'm gonna... Um, uh, one of the ones that uh, had died off the most in the other side of the room I'm gonna replace it with this one. And we will see. Back here I have a uh, microtom. It's putting out tomatoes, so it's okay in that order. But uh, uh, yeah, it's too small. It's too white yellow tomatoes. I don't like the uh, I don't like the color. I don't like yeah. I don't like it. So um, this is probably going to be the last time that I grow this. It was just a, a fun project. I, I just needed to test. Uh, in the middle here we have a uh, Santa Fe, uh, what's it called, a Santa Fe Grande or, um, yeah, at least it's called a Santa Fe pepper. And uh, this one is actually doing very, very well, I would say. It's okay. I'm going to need to top it now, but um, this one uh, was, um, I planted this uh, later than all the other peppers. But uh, this one is looking like it's... Uh, been getting the correct amount of water and everything so yeah and back here we have um, we have another what's it called is a Jimmy yeah it's a Jimmy Nardello okay and in the front here we have a tomato growing this is a, also a tiny Tim which is putting out uh, f flowers and putting out tomatoes this is going to be my sister's, so she's going to get this in her uh, window seal. And uh, moving along, we have uh, Gambia chili. This one also, as you can see, the, the leaves are just curling and uh, yeah, I don't know what to do with it. Um, I might try to cut it down and see if it comes back up, but uh, otherwise I'm going to throw it out. We also have a Santa Fe here. This one wasn't doing that well. It's putting out flowers now, but uh, I'm not gonna let it do that. So I'm probably just gonna top it and uh, see see if I can grow it back. Um, yeah, another jalapeno and another micro tom. And here we actually have <laughs> This, uh, this one has been coming back from the dead uh, a few times now. This is a pepperoni lombardo. Uh, as you can see, the, the leaves are curling and uh, it's not looking good, but it's actually putting out fruits. As you can see, it's putting out fruits everywhere. And I don't know if these are going to stay on or if they're going to drop or whatever, but somehow this one seems to... 
um, despite having tons of troubles, it's uh, just looking like it's gonna put out fruits anyway. So I'm just gonna leave it like this and see if it uh, will uh, continue to put out uh, fruits and if they actually will mature. I have no idea, but uh, we will just wait and see. The last thing I wanted to show you was some strange, strange plants I got from eBay. These were supposed to be lemongrass, uh, which is obviously isn't because lemongrass doesn't look this, this strange. But they have like a, uh, I don't know what to say, but it's more like a, it's like a, a really, really strong peppermint uh, flavor, uh, smell. But uh, I have no idea what it is. And I would love to be able to, to identify this. That's why I, I haven't thrown it out yet. Because uh, I would just love if somebody would, uh, would know what this is. And, uh, and could tell me before I throw it out. So uh, yeah. And that's it for this week's episode. Um, it was probably a way too long episode. I don't know how long I rambled on there, but we will just have to see once I edit it. Um, lastly, I just want to, to mention um, um, a guy that I met at um, the Pepper Lover community at Google+. Uh, his name is Dave, and I want to give a shout out to him because uh, he's uh, such a great guy and he's doing um, some really nice videos up at YouTube on his channel. And I'm going to put a link below uh, to his channel and uh, I encourage you to go watch uh, what he's doing. Um, he's, um, he's a pepperhead, <laughs> you can say. It's safe to say he's, uh, he's uh, growing tons and tons of uh, different varieties of peppers. And uh, um, he, has, um, uh, he, he told me he's, uh, <laughs> he's gotten way too many seeds for, uh, for what he's able to grow. But that's just what happens once, uh, when you um, are, uh, are really into uh, to different varieties of uh, peppers. So uh, you should go check out his videos. He's doing um, pod reviews. He's um, e eating uh, um, strong chilies for us to enjoy his uh, pain and suffering. <laughs> so uh, that's really fun to watch. So um, yeah, you should check him out. Okay. Um, yeah, that's about it. This is Christopher. Until next time, may the force be with you. Uh, no.